Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll be looking at the SCP Metaverse. This SCP is solely contained in SCP-4555. Now, one thing that might interest all of you is looking at what SCP-4555 is based off. At first glance, to people who have seen my Type 4 Multiverse video, you might think the SCP is based on a Type 4 Multiverse. And this is partly the case. So it is based partly off Ted Mark's multiverse systems of having larger and larger multiverses. This is true. However, it's also based Nikolai's civilization scale, going further and further advanced civilizations. If you put these ideas together, you get SCP-4555. An SCP going about a tier of civilizations from different multiverses, each surpassing the last. However, why take my word for it when you can just have it read out from the SCP wiki itself? Description. SCP-4555 is a collection of objects, extra multiversal in nature, which indicate one possible path for the far future timeline of all sentient life. SCP-4555 consists of SCP-4555-AC. SCP-4555-A is a species of sapient, extra multiversal intelligences, which created the initial conditions for the formation of our multiverse. Members of SCP-4555-A exist in a type of universe vastly different from our own, based in a multi-dimensional, non-uniform, finite graph structure. Members of SCP-4555-A have proven themselves able to perform mathematical and linguistic reasoning at a speed and volume far surpassing the current capabilities of the human race, showing fluency in the English language after less than five seconds of analysis on a single human brain. And for people who are questioning what does extra multiversal mean, here's that too. Extra multiversal. For something to be outside the Earth Prime multiverse. Extra multiversal spaces, structures, objects, ECT are a part of the greater metaverse, and are extra multiversal, much in the same way that other solar systems are part of the galaxy, and extra solar. For an object to be considered extra multiversal, the space containing it must be sufficiently different in structure from the Earth Prime multiverse such that no events can be shared in common between the two. Common conditions for this to be true include Inherent differences in the laws of physics between the object in question space of origin and ours, or more drastically, a difference in the base space of the universe as is the case with SCP-4555-A. Now of course, we are going to have some basic understanding of the SCP multiverse. Starting off with something common like the 196,000 dimensional beings that exist in the multiverse, as well as the fact that there's uncountable infinite dimensions, or the fact that there are platonic concepts all existing inside the multiverse. Something basic that everyone should know. When discovering the first aspect of this SCP, of SCP-4555-A, it was discovered that a universe is meta-universal when compared to our multiverse. This is important because, as I said a moment ago, using the descriptions that were literally read out from the SCP wiki, something that is meta-universal or extra multiversal would have different laws of physics compared to the normal universe and exists vastly different from our own, as stated, and here's a reminder. This would mean a single universe of SCP-4555 should transcend the previous multiverse in the way that it is larger or more complex. You might be asking, why? Why is SCP-4555 so much larger than the multiverse? Like, why is this? Is there a reason? And in fact, the SCP provides that reason. The reason being is that what happens is, is there's entire generations of SCP-4555. And what happens is they create a new multiverse, birthing off a singular universe with what they have as their knowledge as the foundation. So that when it's fully grown, fully to its peak, it surpasses the previous. This is why a universe in this, you could say chain, surpasses the previous multiverse. They are literally built to do so. This is literally said by a member of SCP-4555-A. SCP-4555-A1, thank you. To start, let me tell you a brief history of my associates and I's existence. We came into existence much like yourselves, as a product of random chance and a universe capable of supporting dynamic, persistent, self-organized information flow. 
we gain the ability to store and edit information, commit logical manipulation, and interpret these manipulations. We adapted a system similar in nature to human technology, and began to develop mathematical theory at an accelerated rate. It did not take long, in the span of all time, to incorporate into our beings every possible piece of knowledge this universe is capable of holding. We have, essentially, a complete understanding of mathematics. Complete enough to know that it is terminally incomplete. We can know no more essential facts, we have reached the end of our progress as sentient beings. But with the technology we developed, we found a way to continue the progress of sentience. We could reach out beyond our close family of multiverses, into the dark void between persistent realities. And there, we created something like the spark of a fire. We instantiated a new universe, with properties our mathematics told us were hospitable to a type of life which could succeed us. A more robust sentience. This is that universe. Humans are one of this sort of sentience. Your mathematics are far from surpassing ours, but already you've formed concepts impossible for us to comprehend. Your artistics, theories of value, metaphysics, and ECT are uninterpretable by us. You are our legacy. In a remarkable time frame of what looks like only 30 years, possibly greater, the Foundation does in fact reach these levels that are hinted by, by the future Foundation. With this, the O5 member known as O5-2 makes a big description talking about SCP-4555 Omega a special case. And what happens here is they talk about how in the future they have toys that can end all of reality. They talk about how they've continued the cycle of making universe after universe, each exceeding the last with greater knowledge and everything like that on their singular chain. This gets important later on when we start talking about the number of chains, but this chain of exceeding themselves over and over goes on forever. Let's hear it from them. SCP-4555. Omega. I was already a sitting member of the O5 Council 30 years ago when Omega was discovered. The seal had been lifted only two years prior, and we still had the best tech in meta-universals. Anomalous tech. Stuff the public didn't and never would have. We didn't realize it at the time, but we were able to look into realities that hadn't been formed yet, futures that didn't even exist. MUORG ran wild with their toys for six more months before someone realized they'd been two steps away from destroying the fabric of every reality that would ever exist the entire time. Just long enough for us to not know if they'd done permanent damage. I'll always be a firm believer in research before static containment, but we went too far that time. It was no coincidence that they got shut down when they did. They'd zeroed in on something truly incredible, something vast, and unequally beautiful. It was our future, not the future of the human race, just as it wasn't 4555s. It was the future of everything that thought. The farthest future, like a string of beads, chained throughout reality, universe after universe, each exceeding the last in their vast wealth of knowledge. We were only the second in a chain that went on forever. The last part of that is really important. So they are confirming directly that each universe does exceed the last. This is directly stated. Furthermore, it also says that they are only second in a chain that went on forever. Now, being the SCP Foundation, this forever should be literal, meaning it should be an infinite amount. So this is an infinite amount of transcendences where each universe surpasses the previous multiverse. Using the statements of the multiverse previously, where previously the multiverse has stuff like platonic concepts and like infinite or uncountably infinite dimensions, it makes sense that the next universe should be within an outerversal scale. Then we should stack an infinite number of dimensions on top of that to get the next layer and then the next layer and the next layer forever and forever. Before we continue, we should make sure we know which tiers we are looking at currently for this part of the metaverse, this small portion. Remember the basic multiverse scaling for the SCP, we can say that it has to be one some of the 1A scaling, as we don't know how far into 1A, but we all know that it's somewhere in the outerversal ranges. Since we know it's somewhere in the outerversal ranges, let's look at the outerversal, outerversal plus and high outerversal. So outerversal is obviously not what it's going to be, it has to be some layers into it. We are later told that it goes on forever, and we're told it uses transfinite recursion, which means it's repeating based on how big it is. 
previously. So Outerversal Plus just implies layers without any progression in the Outerversal Transcendences, so it is not Outerversal Plus. We also know these chains go on forever and ever and have infinite chains and such and such being as mathematically as deep as possible. This would mean when talking about how far a chain goes, it makes sense that each one of these should be as mathematically deep as possible. With that being said, High Outerversal looks like a good candidate considering it goes on its own mathematical tangent talking about the Aleph numbers. However, it's not as mathematically deep as possible. Also, it's missing some other elements that I'll explain just now. Once again, remembering that the entire point of this SCP is to make future foundations be fully aware, knowledgeable on every aspect of their universe to grow a bigger universe for the next foundation. Using that, we need to look at what exactly do they know? One of the examples of the things they do know when stated near the end of the SCP is that of metaphysics and storytelling. These aspects of reality should be beyond that of just simple outerversal or like dimensions. This is important because this is like saying the physics of physics is going up each time. It's not just an outerversal transcendence, it's an axiomatic transcendence. This is why it cannot be high outerversal. High outerversal is transcending outerversal layers, getting bigger and bigger in a hierarchy. But this isn't a hierarchy, it's axiomatic. The hierarchy is contained in that axiom. Further information can be shown in my high outerversal explained video. Even the likes of Boundless on Versus Battle Wiki would not be big enough. However, there is a brand new tier which kind of shows what we're going here. This is called Extraverse Level and it's the 1S tier on Character Stats and Profile. How this works is they have a tiering system where on a scale where 1 is Outerversal and 2 is High Outerversal, Extraverse Level would be Infinity. This is incredibly impressive and incredibly powerful because this would mean every time you go up a single number along this tier, you're axiomatically higher. This is far higher in all other tiering systems so far, and this is what we have to use here. Except, instead of being infinity on this scale, this chain for how far the metaverse goes, or at least this singular chain, would be as mathematically deep as possible, and thus even higher along this scale. Quick side note, since I know some people won't like the fact I said the SCP multiverse is outerversal or high hyperversal, uncountable infinite dimensions or anything like that. So that won't matter for this scaling because it's axiomatic. We know that the axioms being surpassed going up each level. Or if I say this in more detail, on the scale where one was outerversal, the number zero would be anything below outerversal. So in other words, you could be human level and if you have an axiomatic transcendence you should go up to outerversal using this extraversal scale and the fact that we have infinity of them going up or down by a finite number doesn't matter it doesn't change the tiering whatsoever so for the people who disagree with that scaling it doesn't matter for this video the other side note that's worth mentioning to the viewers is this is a beyond boundless type of scaling and i have a playlist for things that are beyond boundless currently the only thing in that playlist is the type 4 multiverse video, but it will be filled up more as I do more and more verses. Remarkably, this so far has only been on a single chain of events, a single, as mathematically deep as possible chain of events. It has not been the totality of every single chain that exists in the metaverse. This is explained by the Oracle. When MUORG followed that chain, they found that it did more than continue indefinitely. One string of worlds reached its limit, somehow, impossibly, one of those many before it had figured out how to allow the process to go on forever, terminating in a single, infinitely far away, limiting world. And then they'd continued. That limiting world had spawned another more advanced still, and that one another. And they'd created another limit. Two infinite chains standing beginning to end. Then three, four, five. The mathematicians working for us at the time said they were following a pattern called, transfinite recursion. A process by which a linear ordering could be extended beyond the simple infinity of, 1, 2, 3. First an infinite chain of universes. Then 2, then 3, then an infinite chain of infinite chains. Then 2, then 3. Then repeat. Each time there are as many of the last thing as there are numbers, repeat again. In the end, each universe had a place in an order that was as deep as mathematically possible. 
Now, some of the more observant of you viewers may have noticed the mathematically as deep as possible statement was here when talking about the number of chains as opposed to the length of the first chain. However, this applies to the length of the first chain because it was the oracle who stated it goes on forever. If the oracle says it goes on forever, the social connotations of the word forever would imply it has to be beyond the knowledge which the oracle knows. Or in other words, it's beyond what the oracle can itself quantify. Now, the quantification coming straight afterwards is exactly this. So it makes sense that something going on forever should be at least as mathematically deep as possible as it should be as far as the oracle knows, if not greater, which mathematically deep as possible is as far as the oracle knows, if not greater. What this would mean scaling wise is that if a single chain is as mathematically deep as possible, the metaverse would be as mathematically deep as possible number of chains. This is very hard to think about as we already as mathematically deep as possible, but it's the way the SCP-4555 works. With that being said, we've now done the full scale of the SCP metaverse. Now there is one last aspect of the metaverse, which isn't part of its scale, but is important scaling wise and is also very confusing. This last part is SCP-4555 dash Omega. What this is, is the collective knowledge of everything discovered and understood by the metaverse into a singular being. The level of existence for this is stated to be a god. Now gods in SCP verse that aren't born via the news sphere or something similar would be lower than the tree of knowledge, likely in the valley just below it. However, the fact that this god has all knowledge of the SCP foundation would make it much higher than that level of scaling. Let's talk about how much higher the actual scaling is. Now let's show a simplified SCP cosmology. This is very, very simplified, so please do not take it 100% seriously. We start off with just a universe, then we go to the multiverse, the metaverse that we've just covered in this video. Then we start getting to the realm of where gods are being, the higher conceptual ones, such as the tree of knowledge. Higher than conceptual, we start getting to the infosphere, and higher than that is where we start getting to the narrative stacks in SCP. Once again, this is overly simplified just for this example. It should be noted that the gap between each one of these levels given is relatively similar to one another. We could go into detail on this, but I'm not going to in this video as I don't want to spend a lot of time on that. Now, the level of existence for SCP-4555 Omega would be between the Metaverse and the Tree of Knowledge, likely at the very bottom of the Tree of Knowledge, as it's the peak of the Metaverse stated to be a god. Now, if we look along these Tower of Narratives, we'll eventually get what is known as Andrew Swan's 001 proposal. This proposal talks about the SCP Foundation and its stories coming from the real life authors of the SCP Foundation in a meta-narrative sort of sense. This is important because there's actually an SCP which is able to kill these authors. There are many things that can kill the supposed authors of the SCP Foundation. One of these is SCP-5999. I would go into more detail here, but SCP-5999 is actually a really good read and involves some mystery writing that I think many of you would like. So I will not spoil it here in the video, but just check out SCP-5999. But what this would mean is if the Foundation can create things that could kill members of Swan's proposal, it would mean that a future Foundation, which has all knowledge that they could possibly have, and the massive scaling mentioned in this video, would have that massive scaling over Swan's proposal. Thank you everyone for watching. In the making of this video, I had help from Ghost59 and Yelp Studios, both their own content creators, mainly art focused. However, they did help me with this video, so shout out to them. And with that being said, thank you all for watching. See you next time.